Hi, my name is Renee and my two words are dominated and free. Anyone who knows me can attest to the fact that I'm a passionate person. I love to love, whether it's food or friends or the TV show that I'm binge watching on Netflix. I don't have a problem spending my time and energy towards the things that make me happy. I never knew that my enthusiasm could dominate my life and force me to make difficult decisions. I knew about God's love for me ever since I was very young, and I thought that when I accepted Jesus at the age of 11, I would be prepared to live my life and keep sin like far away from me. My own sin, however, snuck up on me. I knew that I was in too deep when I would think privately to myself, if God asks me to turn away from my favorite things or else I won't go to heaven, I would be in huge trouble and I wouldn't even know what to do. And that's when it became pretty clear to me that those worldly things um, that I loved were turning me into someone I never wanted to be. Um, instead of people knowing me as the girl who's different or the girl who doesn't care what anyone thinks about her, she just lives her life for God, and she's so cool, I became the girl with all the obsessions, the girl who would never miss an episode of Grey's Anatomy, the girl who's always talking about herself and her major and her Pinterest wedding, and I decided that I wanted out. I, I knew that I didn't want to be dominated anymore by these things that couldn't offer me anything. They couldn't help me find purpose, and they couldn't give me anything after I died. And I always knew in the back of my mind that God could. So I knew that asking God to give me another shot, that was the only chance that I had at really starting over and truly having a chance at living a fulfilling and satisfying life. So one day I decided to look up verses about temptation. Like I seriously just Googled verses about temptation and I had no clue what I expected to find. But what I did find was 1 Corinthians 10:13 which says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Ever since then, that verse has really encouraged me to look ahead. God did offer me a new start. The more I depended on him and just asked him to help me out and to set me free from the things that were dominating me and the things I was like obsessing about, it gradually became easier to live a life that was what I wanted and that was just who God made me to be. Especially being a college student, it's not easy and I'm still tempted, but I'm not that same dominated person that I used to be. I'm free. And those are my two words.